This tutorial describes the Task Manager component in Brilliant. What is Task Manager? A Task Manager keeps track of the tasks planned for a future date. For example, a patient with lung nodule may need a follow-up CAT scan in six months from now. Though the provider documented and ordered the CAT scan for the future date, it does not mean it will be done. The patient may no-show or there may be technical problems. The Task Manager keeps such important follow-up actions from following through the cracks. Without a task manager app, very likely, your desk looks like this. Are you tired for playing with post-it notes to track your tasks? Due to lack of better options, the post-it notes are widely used as self-reminders. However, they are hard to track and can be easily lost. Remember, the Murphy's Law is always at work. The task manager apps have been around since arrival of personal computers in 1980s. They can be as simple as a free app in the smartphone to track the grocery list, or the heavyweight commercial applications used for managing complex projects. Brilliance includes a powerful, but easy to use, task manager component to track the personal clinical tasks. In Brilliance, all the clinical practice related tools are located on the bottom panel. To open the task manager, click on the button on the bottom panel. This opens the task manager form. The user interface is quite simple. The Brilliance Task Manager displays the tasks list in an easy-to-read, Microsoft Excel-like data grid. Each task in the list includes five key elements. 1. Patient identification including age, gender, and phone. 2. What needs to be done? For example, follow up on CAT scan. 3. When is the task due? For example, a date six months from now. 4. What is the priority level for this task? For example, depending on the clinical issue, the priority may be routine, high importance, or critical. 5. What is the task status? Is it active, or, done, or, in the trash can, waiting for deletion? The user can easily review the tasks using the well-laid-out user interface. The priority column is color-coded to prominently display the high-priority and critical tasks. Using the drop-down box above the tasks list, the user can filter the list to show the desired tasks, for example, overdue tasks, or the tasks due within the next two weeks. The tasks list can be sorted by any column, simply by clicking on the column header. This is similar to the Windows File Manager. Using a checkbox above the tasks list, the user can show tasks in a compact manner, or, show each task's full text. When a task is completed, its status can be changed from active to done. Now, it displays as a completed task. If the status was changed in error, it can be easily changed back to active. Of course, the task manager allows the user to add new tasks, or, edit the existing tasks. The completed tasks can be permanently deleted from the list. To create a new task, click on the New Task button on the bottom panel. A dialog box opens to ask for confirmation. Click on the Yes button. This opens the task creation page. The use of the three lists on the left side is optional. However, it is good to make selections in these panels. Doing so populates the task description field. It is okay if the desired choices do not exist in the lists. You can directly type text in the task description field. Next, edit the task description field. This is your self-reminder to know what this task is about. Please keep it brief. This is not documented in the medical record, or anywhere else. Next, edit the task-related dates. The date selection is easy using the drop-down calendar widgets. Typically, the start reminding from date is 7 days before the task due date so that the user is reminded of the upcoming task well ahead of time. For example, to ensure compliance, it is useful to call and remind 
the patient a few days ahead of a scheduled procedure. Next, select the priority level. You may assign a high or low priority depending on the nature of the task. Next, optionally, the user can make notes, for example, patient is hard of hearing, or contact patient's daughter who is medical power of attorney. Her cell phone is listed in CPRS. When finished, click on the save and close button on the bottom panel. Once the user is familiar with the process, it takes well under one minute to create a task. If needed, the user can edit an existing task to make the necessary changes. For example, if the patient was a no-show for a procedure, the clinician will contact the patient and reschedule the procedure. In such a case, all we need to do is to change the task-related dates to the future dates. In the tasks list, select the task to be edited. On the bottom panel, click on the review or edit button. The user interface changes to the task editing page. To enable the editing mode, click on the edit task button on top or the bottom panel. Change the dates and any other entries as needed. At this point we have the choice to accept or cancel the changes or save and close the form. What is the difference between the accept button and the save and close button? The accept buttons updates the tasks list with your changes and takes the user back to the tasks list page for other actions. However, it does not save the changes you made. The user can save the changes using the save and close button on the bottom panel of the tasks list page. As its name suggests, the save and close button saves the data and closes the task manager form in one step. In addition to the features described so far, there are a number of buttons near the bottom of the tasks list page. Their names indicate the actions they perform. The delete button moves the, the selected task into the trash can, but does not permanently delete it. If the task was deleted in error, you can revert it back to the active status from the trash can. To do so, select the tasks in trash can using the drop down box. Now, select the desired task and change its status back to the active status. It will show up in the active tasks list. The empty trash button permanently deletes the tasks in the trash can. Caution, if you save after emptying the trash, the deleted tasks are permanently lost. The details button displays the details of the selected task in the text format. This way, the task can be copied and pasted in CPRS or emailed to a team member for follow-up. The print list button displays the details of all, yes, all, the tasks in a compact text format. This data can be shared with the team members in case of extended absence. Similarly, for sharing, the user can export the task to a file in Microsoft Excel format and share it as needed. When sharing by email, please be sure to encrypt the message. Like all features in Brilliance, the task manager form has a help button in the right lower corner. This opens a brief help document, typically a one or two page PDF in the question and answer format. Most of the clinical staff works in teams. Therefore, the task manager provides a way to review other users' tasks. When a team member is away, other team members can review his or her tasks and take care of that user's tasks. However, no one can add to, edit, or delete other users' tasks. In other words, your access to other users' tasks is read-only. On the tasks list page, near the top of the page, note the button named Show Other Users' Task Selection Panel. When you click on it the Other Users Selection panel is displayed. The button's caption changes to Hide Other Users Task Selection panel. By default the Other Users Selection panel is hidden to maximize the screen space for the tasks list. Using a button click, the user can show or hide this panel as needed. When the Other Users panel is showing, you can search for the desired user. Or you can select the desired user using the Select Task Owner Drop down box. Now, the tasks list displays the user's tasks. As noted earlier, you can review, but not change, other users' tasks. 
To return to your own tasks, click on the large Show My Tasks List button. To minimize the steps needed to create a task, many forms in Brilliance allow the user to directly create a task by selecting the abnormal clinical findings which need follow-up. Here are a few examples. On the main form, select some text in the Advisory's Details area. On right-click, the menu shows an option to create a task. Select the time frame for the follow-up. This displays the task manager form with a newly created task. You can edit the details and save the tasks list. The same method works on many other forms. For example, on the imaging review form, select some text in an imaging report. On right-click, the menu shows an option to create a task to follow up on the selected findings. The user can fine-tune the details and save the tasks list. How does Brilliance notify the user that there are pending tasks for review? To notify the user, Brilliance shows a non-obtrusive message, much like when you get a new email. The notification message is shown, if, and only if, you have overdue tasks, or, have the active tasks which are due within a week. You do not need to interrupt the current activities to react to the notification message. Within a few seconds, the notification message will fade away and disappear. Please continue with the current activities, and, address the tasks when you have time. If you are using the task manager, it is important to note that none of the data, or any user actions, in the task manager automatically becomes part of the medical record. The only way to document any task tracking related activities in the CPRS, is to manually enter such information in the CPRS progress note, or, an addendum. Of course, the user can copy and paste from the task manager generated data. Please read the text on the legal page for a detailed explanation.